There is a big chance we have no fight. We can cook ourselves. Look at that, that is Etna. Do you think this is the runner, right? No, not this, the, the other one, I think. It's an area of magnetic abnormality, so we have to be careful. This is Konstantin Fedchenko. We are in Valencia and we are flying to Catania and then Harbor. We love Britain, you know, good food, good weather, waiting for fuel and go. Get some weather. Valencia, access information, echo. At time zero six two zero. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to There's no flight plan on the system. No flight plan. Okay, so we have some problem with Farnborough Airport, but we can depart from here, can we? So our guy he said that we have problem with Farnborough, that's why we don't depart yet. But uh, what do you think? Shall we pay and then see, or what do we, no. what do we do? We wait until they give an answer, yeah. Yes, because maybe you are not uh, not leaving. So <laughs> there is a big chance we have no flight, no? And we go drink coffee. Time to coffee. No Siesta. Flight. Vamos a la playa. Checking our routing. The first flight is just two hours. Contingency fuel. Alternate 26 minutes. Holding or final resort 30 minutes. And we extra, we put extra 17 minutes. The weather is good. Oh, we have some good tailwind today. It's not happening very often. Most of the time you only remember when you fly with the headwind, but not with the tailwind. This is the human nature. We remember bad things and not good things. Usually I check the weather in the application because it loads the most recent weather. So we go here. We open one of the charts and we click on weather download. So it's cover K with forecast. 0, 0, 12 knots becoming no, no significant weather, so the weather is good. This is good to know because I never been to Catania. Eduardo was there, and he says that the wind shear is possible yeah, there. Sometimes happen, but uh, wind shear happen. And now Etna is active. We saw this. You remember we flew two weeks ago, and and the Etna is active. I mean, it's always active. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to to see also if there is like some ash on the airmet, just to check. Let's see. After one hour listening music, we noticed the PlayStation. Oh, Gran Turismo! Perfect. Grand Theft Auto! My favorite! Look at that! Respect the GTR! <laughs> he wants to do it. Time to go. Fun is fun, work is work. Okay, bye -bye. Adios. Ciao. <laughs> what do you do if you didn't shave in the morning?
Emergency briefing in case of uh, I call stop, I will uh, stop the aircraft, uh, thrust all idle, brakes for reverse and you advise ATC. From uh, 80 knots to stop just for master warning and uh, aircraft unsafe to fly, work runway block, predictive wind shear or uh, problem, uh, major problem to the aircraft. After V1, we take the problem to the air, gear up and uh, emergency stow in case of thrust reverse deployment. We continue climb on safe tile. Okay, That's okay. Ready for taxi. Right is clear. Okay, ready? Ready, rolling. Yeah. I, I have control. I have controls. Power is set. Thank you. I speed the life. Check. 8 knots, cross check. Let's check. V1, rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up selected. Yeah, no lights. Thank you. What did that Peter okay, reaction? Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Five. Five miles. Starting left. Left, and then we maintain a VR distance seven, right? So standard turn at twenty-five. Autopilot engage. The pilot is on. We are picking some good tailwind today, sixty three knots, sixty four. This aeroplane has very big windshield, so there is a lot of sun coming in the aeroplane, so we use this windshield protection, which we use on the ground, because the sun is burning. We can cook ourselves. Cook, yeah. <laughs> so, this is our approach, and uh, if you're coming to from the sea or from the mountains, so yeah, to the west side, at nice skier, and if, it, if the wind comes from the north, you, you can feel here uh, wind shear from the north, so it's important just to briefing also wind shear. Mm -hmm. And then we have a special here. This is a Catania Sigolella, and we, 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 it's easy to confuse the two airports. So don't mistake Catania Sigolella. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, the approach is from the runway to 6, there are uh, a lot of uh, type of RNP, but no ILS. And uh, from runway 08, there are look, look, the ILS. Look, the plane is descending. Uh -huh. No, it's okay, it's okay, but the speed. Yeah, because we got the speed. Here. We got some downdraft. Down yeah. Yeah. Look, now it's climbing. More than 1,000 feet. Oh. Continue it's crazy. climb. Almost 1,000 feet. Fly level three Sorry, what was the bad runway? So for um, uh, for runway 08 we have a LS and RNP, but from runway 26 just RNP. Mm -hmm. So we consider I decision A yeah, for the we can do a visual or visual. Yeah, if you if you are good with visual. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Arrival. Mm -hmm. Our minimum sector will be uh, 5,800. Mm -hmm. A final course uh, to uh, it's automatic by the RNP. If it's possible, we do fly uh, visual approach 
uh, for runway 26, so it will be left uh, base uh, for um, runway 26. Mm -hmm. uh, Uh, we put uh, actually our point uh, intercept on a Charlie Charlie 505 that we descend with the Gis angle. I put minimum for us 382 dh, so 390. In case of missile approach, we climb uh, straight ahead on heading 261, 5000 feet, and Charlie 606 to be reached at 1,600, but we have this requirement uh, for the missile approach. Mm -hmm. Above join, follow 261, and then the NASOP hold. Catania approach, uh, good morning, retreat, descend level 150, Libro, Libro 1 Hotel, information Zoo. 33, buongiorno, Kokaiden. Kokaiden, okay, retreat, retreat. Look at that, that is Etna. Do you think uh, this is the runway, right? No, not this, the, uh, the other one, I think. Where are you in straight on 8? How many This airfield which we see on the left is the wrong one. This one? Yes, I think it's further. I yeah. think not this, this is not the right one. Also, what I saw, this says area of magnetic abnormality, so we have to be careful there. Yeah, yeah because yeah. the... Buongiorno, radar contact, continue climb, 180. And this is the wrong runway, which is depicted. Catania, have we have runway inside? We request a visual approach for runway 26 if possible. Yes, and now we are coordinating, you are still uh, number 3 in the approach. Baggage usually arrives first, then fuel, then we go and meet passengers. Volcano, Catania.
So we review our um, arrival airport, which is Blackbush now, because Farnborough wouldn't accept us. They do not accept aeroplanes under 7,500 kilograms on public holidays and weekend days. Today is weekend day. Our operation chose for us an alternate, which is Farnborough, which is alternate, which is Blackbush. But Blackbush has only VFR approach. There is a standard arrival. What is the point? What's the last point we have? Last point will be Nodji. Nodji, yeah, Nodji, Nodji. So we're gonna be arriving via Nodji or Nodji. And then from Pepis we will do some descend and we are flying at some point. Here is the recommendation for the approach. Let's see what's gonna happen. If no, we go to Farnborough. as well as this we check Farnborough in case we have to go to our alternate and the Farnborough approach is also interesting danger area activity information service available on Farnborough radar so if this danger area is active we will be given the time at Odiham so be prepared to divert oh yeah we need to, to be prepared yeah for sure just to not uh, to waste time, you know, and fuel, because we don't have a lot of fuel, unfortunately. Long flight. Got four heading to London, one three four, one seven five five. Heading 360 degrees. I'll make minus 5. Continue descent to altitude 2500 feet. Continue descent to 2500 feet, energy 1010. 2500 set, yes. Check. Any speed? Now it's good to 10, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We are started turning to the left. The yeah, speed 180 knots or less. 180 knots or less, no problem with it. 290 set. Check, settles on my side, descend to 2500. Do you want full rows? Sorry? Full rows? No. That's oh, okay. to the southwest of you by five miles, Blackbush west of you by seven miles. Uh, copy uh, position of uh, uh, far, uh, Blackbush and we have uh, ground contact. We cleared a visual approach runway 25 at Blackbush. Clear to visual approach runway 25 at Blackbush. Uh, copy, we report a change to Blackbush. So we are at three nautical miles on final. Uh, the other traffic? Roger, report two miles final, I've got one aircraft now turning base layer, final, one mile. No, no. Two zero flap, check. Two zero one. Check. Gulf Alpha November, Six hundred. advise, I can only suggest or advise, the jet is right behind you to land runway 25, are you happy to do a go around? Yes. Me. Are you happy to do a go around? I may I suggest you do a go around, the jet is right behind you. Roger, going around, Gulf Alpha November. So you've got one ahead, which is climbing out, remaining in the circuit. Inside. Um, we have traffic inside to go in around the tanks, guys. Blackbush, information. Hello, Golf Bravo Zulu, Echo Bravo. We're just at Red Manual. Minimum. Minimum. Land variable. Runway condition 555, five, wet, wet, wet. Using 200. Using runway 255 for the left hand circuit, QSC 999 8 hectopascal. 100. Golf Bravo Zulu, Echo Bravo. 100. Golf Kilo, 50. Alpha, 40. 30. 20. 10, 
What you've just seen here, guys, is the great example of ATC and pilots' cooperation. The preceding aircraft was a small piston aeroplane which has a very low speed and it was performing touch-and-go training, which means it would touch the ground, change the flap configuration and take off again. And ATC asked him to perform a go-around, which means aborting its landing and just uh, flying again in the traffic circuit. This is non-control airfield and the pilots, they could refuse this request, which means go around for us. Pilots were so kind and they accepted the suggestion of the ATC. So that was an interesting flight as for me. I think Eduardo is agree with me and I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, leave comments. This was Konstantin Fitchenko, your aviation broker. Aviation Sales International, KFE Avia. Bye-bye.